Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together, walking through the Bible one chapter at a time, and I'm writing a short devotion and then reading that to you. Today, we're in Mark chapter 7. When I was an athlete, we used to say, fake it till you make it. If you're not feeling confident heading into a competition, then just fake it till you make it. Not amped up for a competition? Just listen to the right music and get some adrenaline going. Muster it up. Fake it till you make it. This was very much an outside-in approach to life. Jesus teaches us a different way of life. In Mark chapter 7, verses 14 to 15, Hear me, all of you, and understand, there is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. Jesus doesn't want us to miss the point of life, the transformation of our souls to the glory of God. Jesus is not after us trying to be good boys and good girls, conform to the acceptable ways of the moral majority. But faithful disciples who follow him in the narrow way. Jesus is calling us to a new way of living, but not from the outside in through worldly pride and performance, nor through religious conformity to rules and customs of man-made traditions. Jesus calls us to live from the inside out, where our hearts are made clean by the grace of God, and His character and good works then flow out of us because we have become vessels of glory. Good works flow out of our hearts because God's Holy Spirit has made His home in us. Seize the moment and take time today to pay attention to what is coming out of your heart, in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds, especially when you're put under pressure or are in hard circumstances. Often, it is our unplanned words and our knee-jerk responses that will tell us the truth about ourselves. Seize the moment.